And if you guys would like a part two where I incorporate the blinking effect with the typewriter effect, uh, stick around. I'll probably be releasing that video in about a week. Uh, if you guys would like to support the channel, uh, please consider following me uh, on YouTube, TikTok, Twitch. Uh, it really helps me out. And I do do live programming tutorials um, on the weekend sometimes on Twitch. Um, you know, it's one of the only platforms where I can actually make money. So seriously, would really appreciate it if you guys could do that for me. Uh, thank you. Sir is blinking. There's a lead symbol. Um, I've looked all over Google and I could not find a way to do this for some reason, and so I just decided to figure it out myself for a, a game I was developing for, uh, you guessed it, Newgrounds, and uh, I want to share that solution with you guys today. All right, so first up, uh, after we've opened the new scene, uh, which took a, a while to load because for some reason Unity can run very slow on my computer, um, what we're going to do is we're going to create two new um, UI elements. Now, for some reason, this version of unity only allows me to use the tmp pro which isn't a huge deal so we're going to duplicate this and i guess we're just going to import the tmp essentials um which it, i guess it just makes me do and so what we're going to do is we're going to have this uh we're going to call this without lead and we're going to call this with lead okay so another thing we're going to do is we're going to make a couple adjustments i like to go screen space to camera and then just select my camera and then another little thing i like to do is i like to uh, scale with screen size so what we're going to do is now we're going to make i don't know what's going on there uh, we're going to create a script and this is going to be called um mm, type type writer text uh, type writer text uh, let's just call it uh, type writer TW and then manager TW manager I, I what I'm never good at creating names I'll be honest uh, we're gonna open up TW manager string lead simple and somehow I didn't type that right, lead symbol. Uh, and then we're going to serialize two more fields, tab to autocomplete, and then we're going to say uh, using TMP Pro, and we're going to use TMP Text, and this is going to be called um, Text1. And then tab autocomplete if you have that enabled, text, and text two. This is all we're going to need to make this work for uh, serialization fields. Ignore. Okay, now that that finally compiled, what we're going to do is we're going to create an empty. And we're going to call this um, type writer manager, type writer manager. And we're going to drop the script in. And we're going to say the lead symbol is going to be the. I don't know if it'll do that symbol, but I hope it will. And then we're gonna we're gonna have without lead, and then with lead. Okay, first thing we're gonna want to do is start a void fixed update. Remove the private uh, doesn't need it. And what we're gonna do is just to set things up for the blink effect later on. We're gonna be saying text two dot text equals text one dot text plus lead symbol all right so how we're going to do this uh, blinking effect is we are going to be using a switch statement so we're going to be saying uh switch then we're going to say text one oh my gosh my typos uh text one dot color dot a dot two string and then we're going to be doing this so let's just write the case now to make this easier so we're going to have case zero okay and then we're going to say break just to clear it 
and then we're going to be having case one break okay just to make this oh wrong way i always like it to be nice and symmetrical it's one of my big flaws okay so we're basically going to be taking these and we're going to be flipping these so we're going to be saying uh text one dot color equals uh new color and we're going to be saying this is going to be and just copy and paste this uh control v dot r control v dot g control v dot b one okay now we're going to be going down here let's see there be zero we're going to be doing this for text two. Okay. I think you guys see where I'm going with this. And it is a super simple solution. And for some reason, I don't know if I'm just super dumb, but I did not see this happen before. So then um, now what we need to do is we need to yield return. And so the best way to do that is going to be uh, yield return turn new weight four seconds and we're going to do 0 0.5 f so half a second and we're going to leave it like that and then we break now we're going to go and we're going to do the same thing up here copy and then we're going to do the same thing but we're going to make this zero and this one okay all right, guys, and to fix that, all we got to do is we got to say while true, make sure to put it outside the uh, switch statement, and then we are just going to add in this. Okay, guys, next up, we're going to be making a, um, a void sys blink, and all we're going to be doing is dropping in stop coroutine and then start coroutine, and then to initiate this bad boy, we're only going to need to initiate it in um, start because of the way we set up the while true and the stop coroutine to start the coroutine uh, if you do it backwards it's not going to work so make sure to do stop coroutine first and then start coroutine and that's all this is going to do um, it's how we get it persistently blank outside of update um, just the way it works guys don't ask me questions and there we go it works and that's uh, every half a second basically and if we want we can even type something kind of funny we can go say something like hello hello meow Follow the white rabbit. <laughs> Follow the white rabbit. And that's kind of glitchy. That's funny. Follow the white rabbit.